This is about global health. No political issues. I mean, this is all of us involved. No matter this party, that party, this country, that country. In this video, we will try to summarize what are the main points that Dr. Li Meng Yan emphasized in her brief interview with Stephen Bannon and Fox News. Let's get started. Dr. Li Meng Yan, a Chinese virologist, a former postdoctoral fellow at University of Hong Kong, fled to the US in April to shed light on the coronavirus cover-up between the WHO and the Chinese government. As a backgrounder, Yan recently published studies in The Lancet and Nature, both of which related the SARS coronavirus infection. In her interview with Fox News, she stated that the Chinese government knew early on of the outbreak, in her words. Uh, our government already know that before the end of December, there are over 40 people get infected, but not as they mentioned, like 27. And also, most importantly, there were human to human transmission already at that time, but they keep lying until middle of June, actually 20 June, they admitted. Okay, so y y your claim is that at the end of December, there is human to human transition. And the Chinese exactly. government and the World Health Organization did not cop to that until about three weeks later. If you're yes. right, how would things be different around the world and here in the U.S. now? Okay, let me explain to you. First, this is a huge pandemic we have seen in the world. It's more than everything we know in human history. So for that, the timing is very, very important. So if we can stop it early, we can save a lot of lives. That's the key point. Continuing, she also emphasized that the world should know and need to recognize that the COVID-19 virus is unlike any other virus, that it should be taken seriously. And I want them to understand, I also want U.S. people to understand how terrible this is. It's not what you have thought. It's not what you have read through the media or listen from our China government, even WHO. This is something really different, and we have to trace the true uh, trace the true evidence and get the real answer because this is a key point to solve this pandemic. Mm. If not, we really don't have much time. Also in her interview with Steve Bannon, Dr. Yan was asked in her professional assessment if the virus was a natural occurrence or man-made modified. Here is her answer. Uh, I have my uh, clinical medical degree from mainland China and also got my PhD uh, degree in China and then I turned to the University of Hong Kong to do the virology and immunology research. I also focus on the vaccine develop, uh, development and since SARS-CoV-2 uh, happened, I work in the uh, WHO lab for the COVID-19 research. So according to my own research experience and I can say that and all the intelligence and information I got, I can tell you that definitely not come from nature and also that has definitely not come from the Wuhan Huanan seafood market because all the evidence I got shows that there are no animal hands uh, left in any sample when they checked before they do the thorough uh, cleaning of the Wuhan seafood market. But why CCP government insists that all the patients have to get the Wuhan seafood market history before they get diagnosed even in January? Why? They know at least one third of patients don't have this history. They haven't been to the Wuhan seafood market and they didn't get any animal hint from these samples only one sample from all the 30 samples environmental samples they get uh, from the seafood market has some virus detected and these samples are not detected by the real experts from overseas or even Hong Kong it's just done by the CCP government and then they show the result to the world and tell you come on this is from China's animal some animal maybe we People eat bad, eat rat, and eat all the poor animals and innocent animals. They don't know how to speak. They cannot fight with CCP. So they are the scope uh, goats. So I don't think it can come from nature, and they cannot find the evidence now. Now see how the bad woman Jenny gets an interview from science recently. She herself cannot answer this question. She just probably uh, let you to do the research for years and years, and say, see, we know there is definitely a host, and you need to go to find the bad, you need to go to find the source. But why don't they go back to check the possibility it can come from some lab? I mean, uh, I'm now preparing a very solid scientific report to show people that 
that how easily this can be done from the lab and even not need to come from the very high technique lab. This is something uh, actually using the mature technique and uh, also uh, if you have the material which we see here as a SARS-CoV-2 backbone virus, this is the only virus is owned by CCP, by their PLA labs, and with these things, you can make it within half years. That's so easy. We have been given a glimpse of the conspiracy that's happening according to Dr. Yan. What was impressed upon me was the consistency of her statements on how she spoke without stammering or hesitation. What do you think? Type in the comments below. If you like this video, kindly give a thumbs up or better yet subscribe. Thanks.